It's 2023, and guess what? Atari owns Bubsy. Isn't that crazy? So this article came out yesterday from Global Newswire. It says Atari announces acquisition of more than 100 PC and console titles from the 80s and 90s. The collection includes games from the popular Bubsy, Hardball, and Demolition, Demolition Racer franchises. Uh, and as well as later on, 1942 Pacific Air War, F-117A, and F-14 Air Combat series. And so this is a deep catalog that includes titles from Accolade, Infogram, and Microprose. Now, I do know Microprose is, a, is its own entity. Like, it was bought by a guy who's, like, publishing games. And he, I, from what I understand, he tried to get some of the original Microprose stuff. So Atari doesn't own the Microprose name, nor all the games from any of these catalogs, possibly, because some of these... Um, games might be have been sold to somebody else or some of these titles uh, might be under licenses that they no longer can use like maybe they own the Jack Nicholas golf games that came out by Accolade but they wouldn't be able to use the Jack Nicholas name unless they relicense it but obviously what they're doing they have this plan and I just talked recently how they bought a bunch of Stern games including the Berserk games Berserk and Frenzy they're definitely trying to build a catalog of retro titles that they can both release individually or as part of collections or reimagine and be a part of their recharge series because just recently they bought the Stern stuff. Now the fact that um, the biggest names are Bubsy hardball and demolition racer tells you that there's not a lot of big, like it's a lot of games, but it's not necessarily a lot of big name games. So Bubsy's an interesting one. Like I may have alluded to earlier, you know, he's popular, but for the wrong reasons, right? Because people like to make fun of Bubsy, but he does have name recognition value among retro gamers. So it would create kind of a buzz if a new Bubsy game came out and people, you know, like, like a car wreck, like, is this any good or not? People would be attracted to it. Wouldn't it be interesting if Bubsy got a new game before Earthworm Jim? And they also got the rights to use the Accolade and GTI brands so they can use that if they desire to do so. They, so they can't use Microprose. So again, Atari's up to something. They're building catalogs of retro games. What's interesting though, is I believe some of these games, they were Infogram at one point. I believe that's why Atari's still based out of France to this day. I think they have a New York office now too. But I think they owned a lot of this stuff in the past and sold it. And now they're buying it back. So some of this stuff is stuff that they used to own, but sold for money trouble. So you, it just goes to show that Atari is really trying to do something new, you know, more than just license their name out. They're actually trying to get more into probably retro game compilations. They're porting these things to modern systems, putting them on steam, the original games and trying to do the recharge things. Will it work? Will we'll find out. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. And I will see you next time on the next Nosework Gamer video.